Let's play tonight. Yu Suzuki Gameworks on the Sega Dreamcast Arcade. I know there's a bit of scroll in it, but I just wanted to show you this game. So, recently picked up Yu Suzuki Works, Japanese. So it's got all his early stuff on. Oh, it's this controller here. But I'm not using the arcade, so I'm just going to use the controller. So let's turn that on. I know there's a bit of scroll in it, but I just want to show you what games you get on it. Let's lower this a minute so you can hear me. So, you get Space Harrier. Uh, 1985, Hang On 1985, Power Drift 1988, Afterburner 1987, and Outrun 1986. I think these are all almost the arcade ports. So let's go and hang on. Yeah, it shows you the cabinet. It tells you the dimensions of the cabinet, the microprocessors in it, and everything. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's have a quick go on a uh, hang on. I love I love hang on, especially in the arcade on the bike you sat on. Which you could turn around on that. There we go. Let's put the volume back up quick before I get to a turn. Oh. So I'm used to I'm used to playing this on the Mega Drive. See what it looks like on the camera. Yeah, there's a lot of flickering on it, but you get the you're gonna get the gist of it. Well the music sounds so much better than the Mega Drive. Let's turn the music up a little bit. That's it. Yeah, so that's hang on. Can we go back? There's an easy way to go back, I bet everyone knows. That's all four buttons and start at the same time, it goes back. So that's hang on. I'm curious, I'm curious to see what Outrun's like on it. Yeah, it tells you all about the cabinet on the Outrun, the micro processors and all that sort of stuff. So let's have a go. I'm interested to see what the music's like on it. But I hate having 50 hertz because of the flickering. But yeah, but you're going to get the gist of it. So you've got that one. I want to see if it's... Uh, what should we go for? A magical sound shower. Yeah, really? Oh yeah, it does look good. Yeah, the music's decent as well. But I'd have loved to got this in the UK, this game, this game collection. It was only released in Japan. Yeah, so that's that one. I don't want to do too much of the gameplay because obviously the flickering. But let's get back. I just want to. Power Drift. Now, Power Drift, I've got on the Saturn, so I'll be interested to see what it's like on the uh, on the Dreamcast. Uh, but I've never played this one in the arcade. I can't remember playing it. Let's see if this one loads up as well. Welcome to our exciting 
Oh, this one ain't flickering, look, you see. Do you so this one's 60 hertz. Yeah, 60 hertz, this one. Yeah, this one actually looks better than what's on the Saturn. Looks better, looks better than the Saturn one. a lot better than the Saturn version. Three, two, one, go. I should have fitted the steering wheel which I've got on top. I don't think. <laughs> Doing really well, then. Right, let's go back. So, yeah, what have we done so far? Here, my Dreamcast making those noise. There we go. So, we're done. Let's have a show. I'm going to space Harry for that one. So, yeah, so hang on. I think that's the arcade version on this disc. Same with our one. How just seems to be like it's a lot better than the Saturn version. So, let's go on space Harry. This one will be flickering. I bet this is 50 hertz. Yeah, you can see it's already a lot. Yeah, we'll have a quick go on the first level. Welcome to the family. So the music's like I do. So that seems to play really well, just like the arcade. And this is, I mean, I recommend this collection for anyone. Uh, let's have on the last one, Afterburner. Been asked if this was 60 hertz, I don't think it is. Once it loads, that's like, no, it's not. God, this one looks really good, doesn't it? Get ready. Right, you can get the gist of it, let's have a quick. Oh yeah, I think this is the arcade one.
Yeah, so that plays really well. I, I, yeah, I'm not locked into it, but I think that all these, I think they are K-Ports. So I wasn't aware of this game until recently, but it's uh, Yu Suzuki Gameworks, Volume 1. And I think I think there was only ever one volume. So, yeah. So you get one, two, three, four, five great games, all Yu, Yu Suzuki early games. Uh, but they are, they're, the, they're the, if I get my words out, the RK port. So I recommend for anyone who wants you know, to experience some proper 80s, 90s arcade fun, yeah, get it. But it's, you have to import it. It's, uh, yeah, Yu Suzuki Gameworks, Volume 1. Highly recommend. See you on the next one.